Hello everyone, today we are going to be drawing a cityscape and we're going to be focusing on overlapping. So we've been working on landscapes and overlapping is really important in landscapes to show space. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have our paper up and down. Now you can have it the other way if you want. What we're going to do is start off with a building from the bottom. Now, cityscape is a landscape of a city. So we're going to build some buildings. You can have buildings with cut, like triangle peaks. You could have other buildings without. We want to overlap, so we want to have look like one is on top of the other. You could have some that are small, some that are big. So I have some different sizes here. Keep adding some. All right, once I have my buildings, what I'm going to do with my background is I'm going to kind of block it very lightly with my pencil. Now we're going to take those lines and we're going to actually going to put them into our artwork. So we're going to take this line and keep going all the way down like an imaginary line. Well, it's not imaginary because it's there, right? So we're actually kind of gritting up our drawing. From there, I'm actually going to outline just my buildings, not the grid. I'm going to leave the grid alone. Once I have my buildings uh, outlined, and like I said, I'm going to keep the grid alone. I'm actually going to draw in some of the details for my buildings so I can add like a door. I can add windows. So don't mind the grid. The grid's just going to stay there. Maybe this is like a factory or something. small windows. So add your details to your buildings however you want. Add some lights or windows. It's a small door compared to that one. Now I'm going to outline just those details again. I'm going to leave the grid alone. I'm not sure what happened with that outline. Now, what we're going to do is for each building, we're going to choose a color. So, uh, I'm going to do purple for my first building. So, I have two purples. And for each of the squares that were in the grid, we're going to color that part purple. 
So basically each building is going to be two of the same kind of colors. You can color your windows the same or you can maybe color them yellow if you want to make them look like white. I'm actually going to use the same colors. around might hold those off the side maybe this time I'll do blue So I'll keep those two off the side. This time I'll do red and pink. Hello. If you want to repeat your colors, you can repeat. I'm going to do one more set of green. Now for the background, we're going to do something a little fun. We've been working on Zentangles, so we're going to add some Zentangles. So if you want to do this in pencil, you can, or you can do it in a color. Uh, just do one color, though. Don't choose many colors. So in each of the boxes, we're going to do a Zentangle, and you can keep it pretty simple. So maybe this one is stripes.
Maybe this one is polka dots. And you don't have to go over your grid with the marker. Just keep it there, but keep it without being outlined. So maybe this one is zigzag. And then keep adding, making new ones. And then try not to repeat, but if you have to repeat, repeat on the other side only twice. That's it.